Welcome to Cleaning Moments with Linda. My name's Linda Pierce and I'm a Norwex independent sales consultant. Isn't dusting a never ending job? Far out. I just used to dust surfaces in my home and a couple of days later, it looked like I hadn't dusted at all. Well, what I've learned since I've been with Norwex is that whenever you dust using a spray cleaner, often there are residues left behind that attract dust and dirt. So some of those ads we've seen where, you know, they're spraying this uh, stuff on that makes everything nice and shiny. Yeah, it might look good for a little while, but won't take long and you'll feel like you need to do it again or wondered why you even bothered in the first place. So I was really excited when I started dusting with Norwex products and you're like, Linda, how can you be excited about dusting? Well, it's really that I didn't have to dust as often and the dusting was really, really quick and easy. And so what is the product that we recommend you use for general dusting in your home? the Norwex dusting mitt. This has a long uh, pile, microfiber pile, so that it will pick up and hold on to a large amount of dust. So it's statically charged. And for dusting most surfaces in your home, you just use it dry. Uh, but if you wanted to use it on upholstery, so leather or fabric upholstery, you could use it damp. The reason why it's good to keep the dust levels in your home under control as much as possible is not just because you want to keep your surfaces looking great but also because dust can contain VOCs which stands for volatile organic compounds. Basically chemicals from various products that you use in your home can accumulate in your household dust and studies have shown that dust can cause or contribute to a variety of health conditions. So this is so easy to do. You can even get your kids cleaning. And the great thing about using the dusting mitt is it doesn't flick dust up into the air and relocate it to another surface in your home. Uh, also, when you're dusting a surface like this, you would just simply pick up the item, dust underneath like so, pop the item down and keep going. And you can see the dust there on the dusting mitt. Uh, once your mitt gets full of dust and you think, oh, it can't hold anymore, you just either take it to the bin, give it a rub against itself like that, the big chunks of dust, I know if it's been a while since you've dusted, there will probably be chunks, sometimes referred to as dust bunnies by people, or I have had a lady who said she didn't have bunnies, she had dust elephants, uh, which I thought was quite hilarious. Um, but yeah, those big bits will just rub off and uh, go into the bin. You can do, do it outside in your garden. I don't recommend you bash your dusting mitt against a pole because you could end up uh, having more dust on you than um, on the ground outside. So just give it a rub and that, that works very effectively. Now, the other thing that's great about the mitt is just because it's got the thumb and it's a very flexible mitt, you can dust things, you know, like the top of this pot here. Um, you can just wrap around there like so. Um, things like a candle holder. Uh, that it has an intricate pattern. Just by running over with the dusting mitt, the fibers will get into the pattern and remove all the dust sitting in the nooks and crannies. Uh, also, you know, same thing goes for uh, round items like this. Pretty hard to dust usually uh, with normal um, dusting, dusting products, but whoops, just turned it on. <laughs> anyway, there you go, and it's um, dust free. So, can just see if I whiz along here how fast that is. Now, so funny, tambourine. <laughs> As you, <laughs> who has a tambourine in their house? Hey, but I'm gonna show you how to dust it anyway. <laughs> so again, because you've got the thumb, you can just grab uh, onto the parts that need dusting and there you go, nice and clean. So that's super easy uh, to do. When you feel like your mitt is starting to look a little bit too dusty, you can actually just pop it onto the other hand and use that side. Uh, you know, I used to have to take everything off a surface like this, spray it, 
use a wet cloth, uh, wait for that surface to dry and then put everything back. So this is gonna cut your dusting time dramatically. And if you're on the phone, you can dust one handed. That's a good thing too. <laughs> so I hope this video has been really helpful to you. If you have any questions regarding this product or any other products in our range, then please contact me via my website at lindapierce.com.au or contact your Norwex Independent Sales Consultant. Thank you.